While studying the hadiths, I found a great number of stories about Satan that are so childish and unrealistic that it is beyond comprehension how any rational human being can accept as emanating from any messenger of Allah or any divine being for that matter. Will you give us examples? Many of the verses of the Quran and the stories in the Ahadith regarding the failures, errors and deceptions perpetrated by Satan upon the earlier prophets were created and falsified to deliberately deceive the reader and the uninquisitive thinker into believing that Muhammad was not alone in being misguided by Satan. Of course, all of these attempts at deception, misinformation and disinformation have remained unchallenged for almost 1400 years because most people knew very little about the Quran and Ahadith. All this has changed in the last 100 years when enormous amounts of research have been conducted on the Arabic of the Quran, Ahadith and archaeology in Arabia, the Yemen and others in the area of the Middle East. The knowledge available at this very moment for all to read is astounding both in its amount as well as in its negative implications regarding the cult of Muhammad's belief system. Al-Hajj 22.52 Never did we send an apostle or a prophet before thee, but when he framed a desire, Satan threw some vanity into his desire. To cover up Muhammad's failure at uttering the satanic verses, his Quran conveniently descended a revelation above, maliciously accusing all other previous prophets of a similar failure of thought and character. Any reader of the Bible will not find a single such event, wherein a prophet was deceived by Satan. All previous prophets stand innocent of such a diabolical and immoral accusation put in the context of an alleged holy book, the Quran. Satan is never mentioned in the Torah as either an adversary to man or disobedient to God. Satan is a concept created by the human mind to blame it for its own failures, misdeeds, evil deeds and all other theologically and morally unacceptable acts. Satan is nothing more than the mirror of man's own negative characteristics. Throughout the Quran, Satan is conveniently used as the ultimate and eternal fall guy for all the iniquities, backsliding, demonic and immoral acts committed by Muhammad and or his followers, thus always absolving themselves from taking responsibility for any of their nefarious deeds. It is the usual case of projective identification used by all criminals justifying their foul deeds by blaming their victims. Al-Baqarah 2.36 Then did Satan make them, Adam and Eve, slip from the garden and get them out of the state of felicity in which they had been. Al-A'raf 7.20 Then began Satan to whisper suggestions to them, bringing them openly before their minds all their shame that was hidden from them before. He said, your Lord only forbade you this tree, lest you should become angels or such beings as live forever. Taha 20.120 But Satan whispered evil to him. He said, O Adam, shall I lead thee to the tree of eternity and to a kingdom that never decays? For those who have not read the Bible, the verses above do not represent the actual original biblical story. In the Bible, there is no mention of Satan nor of Allah. There is also no mention of the tree of eternity, but there is mention of the tree of knowledge. Muhammad's Quran, as usual, got everything wrong yet again. Al-Kahf 18.63 He, Moses, replied, So is thou what happened when we betook ourselves to the rock? I did indeed forget about the fish. None but Satan made me forget to tell you about it. It took its course through the sea in a marvelous way. The story above is of course not found in the Bible. It was created by Muhammad so that he would cover up the fact that he used to forget many of the allegedly revealed ayat verses by implying that Moses also, among all previous prophets, was forgetful due to Satan's interference, which of course is not true. Sahih al-Bukhari hadith 6.71 narrated by Sa'id bin al-Musayyab. The Prophet said, No child is born but that Satan touches it when it is born, whereupon it starts crying loudly because of being touched by Satan. 
except Mary and her son. Sahih al-Bukhari 9.124, narrated by Abu Qatada. The Prophet said, a good dream is from Allah and a bad dream is from Satan. Sahih al-Bukhari 2.301, narrated by Abu Huraira. The Prophet once offered a prayer and said, Satan came in front of me and tried to interrupt my prayer. But Allah gave me an upper hand on him and I choked him. No doubt, I thought of tying him to one of the pillars of the mosque till you get up in the morning and see him. Why did not Muhammad keep Satan tied so that all of his people would see him in the morning and become instant believers? Had Muhammad done so, he would not have needed to slaughter any of them into submission to his will. It is of course obvious that he was lying and deceiving his followers with his phantom deeds. Sahih Muslim Hadith 5611 narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri. We were going with Allah Messenger and we met a poet who had been reciting a poem. Thereupon Allah's Messenger said, Catch the Satan or detain the Satan, for filling the belly of a person with pus is better than stuffing the brain with poetry. Even the noble poetry of the Arabs is considered satanic by Muhammad. He has not left his followers a single item of enjoyment or pleasure in life on earth, but eternal ones after death, while dying fi sabilillah, for the sake of Allah, which in reality it is always for the sake of Muhammad. Sunan of Abu Dawood 184, narrated by Al-Bara ibn Azib. The Messenger of Allah said, Do not offer prayer in places where the camels lie down. These are the places of Satan. He was asked about saying prayers in the sheepfolds. He replied, You may offer prayer in such places. These are the places of the blessings. Al-Tirmidhi Hadith 999 narrated by grandfather of Adi ibn Thabit. Allah's Messenger said, Sneezing, drowsing, yawning in prayer, also menstruation, vomiting, and nose bleeding are from the acts of Satan. Sahih Bukhari 4.522, narrated by Abu Huraira. The Prophet said, When you hear the crowing of cocks, ask for Allah's blessings, for the crowing indicates that they have seen an angel. And when you hear the braying of donkeys, seek refuge with Allah from Satan, for their braying indicates that they have seen a Satan. Sahih Bukhari 9.212, narrated by Salim's father. The Prophet stood up beside the pulpit and pointed with his finger towards the east and said, Afflictions are there, afflictions are there, from where the side of the head of Satan comes out, or said, the side of the sun. Sahih al-Bukhari 9.126, narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri. The Prophet said, Whoever sees me in a dream, then he indeed has seen the truth, as Satan cannot appear in my shape. Muhammad is forever humble. Sahih Muslim 5008, narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar. Allah's Messenger said, When any one of you intends to eat a meal, he should eat with his right hand. And when he intends to drink, he should drink with his right hand. For the Satan eats with his left hand and drinks with his left hand. Sahih Muslim 5279, narrated by Abu Huraira. Allah Messenger said, The bell is the musical instrument of the Satan. Sahih al-Bukhari 4.492, narrated by Abdullah. It was mentioned before the Prophet that there was a man who slept the night till morning after sunrise. The Prophet said, He is a man in whose ears Satan had urinated. Believers and unbelievers, these are only a very small sample of hundreds upon hundreds more of such incohate, incoherent, and utterly dim-witted sayings from the mouth of allegedly the greatest of all of Allah's prophets. I leave it to you, our listeners or readers, to make up your own minds.